Hi guys, Tim Poitivan here, member of the timsphotos.com academy, and I'm going to do a quick little video for you tonight to show you a little tip that I developed out in the field one year that helped me remember when I take all of my photos back into Lightroom that there are certain photos that I want to pay particular attention to. I don't know about you, but I've come back from trips where I've taken hundreds of photos and sometimes several dozens of photos of the same scene and they all kind of blend together when I'm scrolling through them in Lightroom. In fact, sometimes I open photos like this one here or this one here and I think, why did I take these photos? There is nothing interesting about those. The composure is off. Uh, there's no interesting things in the scene. What's going on here? Well, I took these photos back in 2014 on a trip to Dubai and originally I went through and I pulled out all my favorites, but sometimes I like to go back into them and see if I missed anything. And I can clearly see that I've missed something here, which is a hidden panorama attempt. So I was trying to take some photos starting from the left of the, of the scene to the right of the scene, and I wanted to stitch them all together. So before I did that, I simply took a picture of my hand to let myself know when you edit these, Tim, these are photos that are meant to be stitched together, or in some cases, maybe I have some HDR photos that I need to blend together. And once I'm done with that, I take another picture of my hand to let me know that I'm done doing that special technique. In fact, if I scroll up, you'll see here some photos of a scene that had a lot of contrast. And so I wanted to do some bracketing. So I took a picture of my hand, set my camera to a three exposure bracket mode with a negative one exposure, a zero exposure and a plus one. And I took those photos and it looks like here I probably, well, it looks like I took three sets of bracketed photos. And when I was done bracketing, I took another picture of my hand, set my camera back to normal and continued along uh, the street there. So just a great little reminder to let you know when you get back into Lightroom that there is something special about the photos that are about to come up. In this case, I know that I can take all these photos now, do a right click in Lightroom and photo merge them into a panorama. Now panoramas take quite a bit of time to process. So I've actually saved us some time and already processed it. And the final image of those photos looks like this. I'm not saying this is an award-winning photo. I'm not gonna frame it on my wall. In fact, there's some issues here with the uh, panorama because I've got this uh, truck's headlight here repeated twice. That's gonna happen sometimes with panorama when you're looking at uh, moving subjects, but this is a great photo. It's a great reminder to me of what I saw that day. And if anybody wants to see my Dubai photos, this is certainly something I'm gonna share with them. If I didn't have those bookmarked photos of my hand, I probably would have skipped over these photos wondering why I took them and I probably trashed them forever. So having these bookmarks helps me later to remind myself that there was something I was attempting to do. So that's it. I hope you found that, that useful and got something out of it. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck editing your photos.